AMD's latest driver 23.8.2 has just released a few days ago. Now we have had time to extensively test the drivers on our competitive games and the results can be uh, yeah so like okay. And as always we're going to be using our RX 6700 XT 12GB card paired with our Ryzen 5800 X3D. I'm going to be running these in our competitive games that we have run the games multiple times until we have been able to achieve consistent results sorry guys no talking head for this video i've been sick for the last few days and why this was a little bit delayed okay let's start off with call of duty modern warfare synthetic benchmarks and here you can see in that our latest driver is much more probably better on the 0.1 percent lows at the start of this benchmarks and um, we have slightly higher ram usage and although our VRAM is more or less the same now in here I think they're pretty close to each other we could probably see that our GPU power is slightly more on the older driver compared to the newer driver but that's pretty much it um, in the end it's probably slightly better the new driver is at least slightly better let's go to Almazra and here we go Almazra it's uh it's pretty good on our latest driver it's still the same we are slightly using slightly more ram and vram is more or less the same we do have better 0.1 percent lows although you can notice in there that there are like micro status in here i mean in the later part of this benchmark you will see that it you know those spikes are there and tends to be stabilizing uh better on the latest driver let's go with um fsr at 1440p and here we go fsr 1440p and you can see right here boys that our 0.1 percent lows are much more stable now and this is because we have lesser gpu load although they're at 99 percent um utilization for both but you can see that it's much more stable on our latest driver in here likewise we're using more ram and vram is more or less the same same thing with gpu power i think it's uh, slightly more on the old driver let's test out anti-lag here we go anti-lag turn off and turn on and you can see it makes sense to turn on anti-lag um, gives you more stability for your frame times as well and on your 0.1 percent low stop before we proceed boys if you are keen on these tests don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button let's move on to our next game a Apex Legends and once again we are using competitive settings at 1080p just for this test and we're going to start out at the firing range there we go firing range and let's see how this one turns out and we can see right here that I think we have bit the results here with our latest driver a little bit of a front line spikes there but let's see which one is much more stable okay you can see right the, the air that i think our latest driver is much more stable as evidenced by one percent lows here we go still shots uh once again boys we have we are using more ram on our latest drivers um vram yeah uh, slightly less and um, gp power is the same pretty much everything else is the same you will notice there there is a little bit of a uh, micro status here in there for both drivers and this is normal we've tried this multiple times still the same slightly leaning towards the latest drivers on the one percent lows but that's about it i mean the one that really matters here is the action scenes let's move on to fortnite and like before we're going to test out all three apis which means dx12 dx11 and performance mode let's start off with dx12 and right here let's start it in here boys we can see that uh, we do have a lot of frame time spikes here and this goes for both um drivers um in here and we've got a really low point one percent lows and that's because in our benchmark in here we have we're covering everything like long range shots builds and action scenes and you can see more or less the same um uh, yeah pretty much the same um we are using less ram in here and less vram for fortnite's dx12 here we go action scenes with some builds 
I think this probably goes to the older driver because of the 1% lows, although we are getting a fair share here of frame type spikes. Uh, yeah, pretty negligible difference in here, boys. Let's move on to our next API. Okay, here we go. DX11. Let's see how this one plays out. As always, competitive settings for DX11. Okay. All right. Uh, pretty strong start here but you can still see that we're still getting a fair share of frame time spikes here for both drivers let's see with our uh, long range shots in here i think this one probably would go to the older driver now we are using less ram in here and less vram but i think overall performance goes to the older driver like i said we still get those frame time spikes which means there are some micro status in there the old driver is using uh, more gp power compared to the latest driver yeah that's pretty much it there like the average fps goes to the older driver i mean and even the one percent lows uh, yeah yeah pretty much the same let's move on to performance mode okay here we go performance mode and let's see if amd has fixed performance mode with this latest driver and here we go looks like we're still having the same issue well i think it's well nah it's like well yeah it's still the same issue our gpu clock is actually pretty bad with performance mode so it still has the same issues look at those clocks boys 500 megahertz in there and this would explain why our results are pretty bad look at those one percent lows so we won't dwell too much on this one let's move on to the next one so we're going to slightly tweak the minimum frequency of our rx 6700 xt and see if it makes any difference for performance mode okay let's tweak our settings here so we just click on gpu tuning go here advanced control and then tweak our minimum frequency to 2500 megahertz for our rx 6700 xt okay here we go here we go here we go and i can see there's a little bit of well yeah a little bit of improvement there i mean our one percent lows are definitely better um we're still getting those frame time spikes in here but you can see right there boys that uh, performance is slightly better now with our latest driver we still get the fair share of frame time stuttering there and uh, yep we are using way less ram and less vram on our latest driver so that's a, a good improvement let's see what action scenes in here yeah definitely we're getting slightly better um 1.1% lows and average fps for our latest driver so you know if you want to go with performance mode this may be an option for you just remember to tweak that minimum frequency let's move on to our next game valorant and as always we are using 1080p competitive settings here for our valorant testing here we go competitive settings okay here we go and right off the bat boys we can see that thing there is significant improvement here for our latest driver look at that 1.1 percent lows is about 500 compared to the 0.1 percent lows of the older driver at 400 plus we are using less ram and also less vram but we are uh, yeah i think gpu power is more or less the same in here but definitely better overall performance here for our latest driver let's try some heavy action scenes all right heavy action scenes let's see which one is much more stable and i think there well i think our latest driver is more stable look at that one percent low so yeah i would stick with the latest driver on this one pretty easy boys look at that one point one percent low uh yeah things to jump but yes and for our last competitive game it's pubg and as always we are using 1080p competitive settings at the excellent enhance let's see how this one turns out okay starting off with some running shots in here and we can see i think our older driver is better in this one look at that one percent lows and the point one percent lows favors the older driver we are using more ram on our latest driver and slightly more vram but yeah pretty much negligible let's go over some heavy action scenes i 
guys so for PUBG action scenes matter a lot and we can see right here that our latest driver is much more stable especially on the 0.1% lows there All right um, same thing using more RAM and amazingly we are now using more VRAM as well so yep I'm I'll pretty say that uh, probably stick oh no it has turned around here so i think it's much more stable on the older driver now those are pretty interesting for our latest amd driver we're going to be testing this one once again when they release the september driver so if you're after independent testings like not sponsored testings at all don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys on the next video